Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel where today we are going to be going through another week in brew view. I'm a little bit late on this one again as this was supposed to come out Monday but things in life have just been very busy with work and me just being exhausted and not sleeping well. So we're about two days late so the first two games of the Dodgers series will not be included in this and this will cover the six games against the Braves and the Reds from the previous week. And what a week that was for the Brewers as they went 5-1 and one and pretty much an offensive explosion and really started to establish their way in the division. So the first game against Atlanta, the Brewers were able to win 10 to nothing on the road in Atlanta. Started off with a Willie Contreras triple that scored in Bryce Terang and a Willie Adamas two-run shot for a 3 nothing Milwaukee lead. Jory T single to Reese Hoskins and then Adamas hit another two-run home run for a 6 nothing Milwaukee lead. Terang singled in a run. Contreras then hit two doubles and scored in two runs as well. And that gave us a final score of 10 0. For the Brewers, Terang went six, two for six for with one RBI. Churio, two for six. Contreras, three for four with four RBIs. Adamas, four for five, two home runs, four RBIs. Hoskins, two for five. Freelick, one for four. Ortiz, two for four with the RBI. Hoskins had his 11th double. Contreras picked up two doubles on the game, giving him 29 on the year. Also picked up his second triple of the year. Adama's got two home runs, giving him 19 on the season. Bryce Terang got his 33rd steal, and Sal Freely got his 15th steal of the year. And Colin Ray was fantastic, going five shutout innings, giving up five hits, one walk, nine strikeouts. Joel Ross to pitch two scores innings, giving up one hit and one walk. The Brewers then won game two of the series, 8-5 to five over the Braves. Start off with the Braves getting two runs on an Austin Rally double and a Matt Olson sacrifice fly for a quick 2-0 lead. Then the Brewers were able to take the lead back with an Ortiz double, an Ortiz single, and a Blake Perkins single for a 3-2 lead. Austin Rally hit a two-run home run to give the Braves the lead back 4-3, but then the Brewers in the 6th and 8th innings just opened it up with a Gary Sanchez single, a Blake Perkins single, a Jory Ortiz double, and a Monasterio single for an 8-4 lead. And then Jared Klenick hit a solo shot for the final score of 8-5. For the Brewers, Churio went 3-5, for five, Hoskins 3-5, for five, Sanchez 2-5 for five with an RBI, Contreras 1-6, for six, Ortiz 3-4 for four with 2 RBIs, Perkins 3-5, three 3 RBIs, Montesero 1-2 for two in the RBI as well. Ortiz picked up 2 doubles, giving him 16 on the season, and Perkins got 2 steals, giving him 16, and Churio also had 2 steals, giving him 15 on the year. Uh, Fred Proctor picked up his seventh win of the season, going five innings, giving up eight hits, four earned runs, two walks, six strikeouts. Mears won a scoreless inning with two strikeouts. Pyam scores inning with a strikeout. Caning scoreless inning with three strikeouts. And Devin Williams won an inning, giving up the one earned run on the home run, but also had three strikeouts as well. And then the Brewers ended up winning the game three for a sweep of the Braves, 16 to 7. It started with a William Contreras two-run home run for a 2 0 Milwaukee lead, a Sal Freak single. Then we had a Jackson Turio two-run home run, a Garrett Mitchell solo shot, a Willie Adamas solo shot, Eric Haas single for an 8-3 lead. The Braves got three runs on an Austin Riley three-run shot, but then the Brewers just opened it up again with a Jake Bowers two-run shot, a Jackson Turio two-run shot, a William Contreras double, a Monasterio walk for a 14-3 lead. Then the Braves were able to get some runs back with a Marcelo Zuna solo shot, a white double, and a Zuna ground out for a 14-7 Milwaukee lead. But then top of the ninth, Sal Freelick scored an on a single, and Jory T single in a run as well for the final score of 16-7. Hitting for the crew, Churio 3 for 5, 2 home runs, 4 RBIs. Mitchell 2 for 4, home run, 1 RBI. Contreras 3 for 5 with the home run, 3 RBIs. Adamas 2 for 4 with the RBI. Monsterio 1 for 1 with the RBI. Freelick, 4 for 5, 2 RBIs. Bowers, 1 for 6, 1 home run, 2 RBIs. Ortiz, 2 for 6, RBI. Haas, 2 for 6, RBI. Adamas got his 27th double, and Contreras got his 30th double of the year. Adamas hit his 20th home run. Bowers got his 9th home run of the year. Contreras got his 13th home run of the year. Mitchell got his 2nd home run of the year. And Trio got 2 home runs, giving him 14 on the year so far. Frankie Montas for the Brewers went four innings, giving out two hits, three earned runs, four walks, seven strikeouts. Paguero picked up his seventh win of the year, going to score his inning with a strikeout. Bryce Wilson went two and a third innings, giving out five hits, two earned runs, three strikeouts. And Hobie Milner went one and two thirds, giving up three hits, two earned runs, and a strikeout. The Brewers continued his momentum with an 8-3 victory over the Cincinnati Reds. 
Started off with a Willie Adamas three run home run for a three nothing Milwaukee lead. And then Jory Ortiz doubled in Jake Bowers. Bryce Serang hit a two run shot. Sal Felix tripled in Willie Contreras. And Reese Hoskins reached on an infield single for the score of eight nothing. The Reds able to get three runs in the top of seven with a Spencer Steer solo shot and a Stuart Fairchild two run home run for the final score of eight to three. For the Brewers, Bryce Serang went one for four with a home run two RBIs. Contreras one for three. Adamas one for four with a home run three RBIs. Freelick one for four with the RBI. Hoskins one for three with the RBI. Bowers one for four. And Ortiz one for four with the RBI. Ortiz got his 17th double of the year. Freelick got his third triple. Adamas got his 21st home run. Terrain got his seventh home run of the season. Hoskins got his third steal of the season. And Churio got his 16th steal of the year. Savali had one of his best games of the year with six and a third innings, game of five hits, two earned runs, two walks, five strikeouts. Mears went two thirds of innings, game of two runs, one of them earned with a strikeout. Canning went a scoreless inning with a strikeout, and Yoel Piams went a scoreless inning as well. And then the Brewers won game two of the series against the Reds, one nothing, with the only run being scored in the bottom of the eighth inning, with a Reese Hoskins solo home run for the one nothing Milwaukee win. Sanchez went one for two. Hoskins went one for three. The Brewers only got two hits in the game. And Hoskins got his 20th double of the season. Tobias Myers was excellent for the Brewers, going seven and a third innings. Gave up three hits, no earned runs, nine strikeouts. Yoel Piamps went two thirds of innings, scores with a strikeout, and got the win two to five. And Devin Williams got his first save of the year after striking out the side in the top of the ninth inning. But the Brewers were unable to complete the sweep of. The Cincinnati Reds losing Game 3 of the series 4-3. Jory Tees hit a 2-run home run for a 2-0 Milwaukee lead. And then the Reds able to take a 3-2 lead with Espinal single and a Stevenson solo shot for a 3-2 Cincinnati lead. Willie Adams got that run back in the bottom of the 6th inning, but Spencer Steer hit a sacrifice fly for the final score of 4-3. Hitting for Cruz, Sanchez went 1-2. for two. Contreras went for 4. Adams went for 3 with the RBI. Ortiz one for four with a home run and two RBIs, and Monasterio one for three. Contreras got his 31st double, Ortiz got his eighth home run of the year, Adams got his 13th steal, and Perkins got his 17th steal of the year. D.L. Hall in his first game back went four and two thirds innings, getting up five hits, three earned runs, three walks, nine strikeouts. Mears went one and a third scores innings with a strikeout, and Joe Ross picked up the loss with three innings, giving up one earned run, two walks, and three strikeouts. And so for the Brewers, and this is including after the two game losing losses to the Dodgers, currently sit on top of the division seven and a half games above the St. Louis Cardinals, who are currently struggling. The Reds have eight and a half games behind Chicago, nine games behind, and Pittsburgh, nine games behind. But the Brewers are in the middle of their really tough stretch right now. Already lost the first two games against the Dodgers. We've got two more against them here Wednesday and Thursday. Then we have three games set against the Cleveland Guardians. This is the hardest stretch of the year for the Brewers. Because after this, we got the Cardinals, A's, Giants, Reds. Not the hardest competition for us, but in order to prove that we belong in serious playoff contention, we have to get these next two games against the um, uh, Dodgers, and we have to have a good showing against Cleveland. Otherwise, yeah, no hope for the playoff deep run. So that's all I have for today. If you like the content, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace.